Welcome to another episode of Cutting Edge Health. Today, we're talking about TDCS and why it might be better than both ECT and TMS for the right patient, possibly, and how it's different. If we haven't met, I'm Dr. Orlando Landrum. I'm a physician, an MD that helps patients understand their options for being able to deal with both mental health and physical health and how to be able to punch pain in the face for either of the two and get back to leading the life you deserve. Today, we're talking about TDCS, which sounds like a mouthful. So what is it? TDCS stands for transcranial direct current stimulation, hence TDCS. I know a lot of people are like, I have no idea what that means. That's why we're going to explain it in this video and why it might be pertinent and useful for you or someone that you love. So when we take a look, it's pretty simple as a matter of fact. It looks like this, there's a headset that's in place and there are two areas where you have an anode and cathode. And for those of you who may not remember high school physics, in essence, it gives an electrical current. And when I he hear that, when I hear patients hear that, they're extremely concerned and I understand that, but we're gonna tell you why you don't need to be concerned because the current is almost imperceptible, meaning not able to really be able to be perceived. Right. So traditionally, those areas that anode and cathode have a sponge that has just a little bit of saline that's there is connected to a box that looks like the following. And that box gives electrical current traditionally of something around two milliampers. So when we look at that two milliamps and we kind of like evaluate that, we're going to give you an idea about what is that in relationship to other things. People will think about TMS, which we do at our clinic. It's called transcranial magnetic stem. And for those of you who don't know, we do TDCS as well. So if you are interested in potentially being able to come be a patient for, of ours and you're interested, we'll kind of let this run behind us and you can kind of give us a ring at some point in time. But what does TDCS help with? This electrical current that we're using that's supposedly low dose. What it does is it can be able to help with a number of different things. It can help with pain. It can help with fibromyalgia. It can help with depression. It can help with OCD. It can help with migraine. It can help with issues with consciousness and potentially cognitive decline. So all these things are present. And most people would say, well, if that's really the case, why haven't I heard of it? And one of the main reasons why is because it's not super prevalent here in the States quite as much. And number two, its utilization traditionally takes a long time to be able to get a response. So things like the same as we use physical therapy for physical activity, it normally takes a while before you can see the responses in your muscle. Same type of thing for this. It takes a little bit of time. So how does it work? It works in the following ways. Basically, you have that anode and cathode that I made mention of before. You have the wires that are connected and you have a device that's able to produce an electrical current that's in place. And that electrical current provides stimulation to areas of the brain that can be able to help influence things. So normally what most people want to know is, is it safe? Not only does it work, but is it safe? And so when we think about this in combination to another therapy, they are not the same. They're completely not the same. And that's something like ECT, which stands for electroconvulsive therapy. It's different. ECT does work, but it has a lot of issues that are associated with it. Specifically, it can have this fog or memory deficits that can occur after you have ECT. And ECT looks something like this. So when you have ECT performed, what is the milliamps that are used and associated with it? It traditionally used 70 to 120 volts, and it's about 800 milliampers. So what is that? 800 compared to two. Why difference in terms of not only what do you experience, but how it also affects the brain. People will say ECT does a full reset of the brain. There's different postulates and other thought processes that have looked at imaging that's associated with it. While TDCS is much milder, you know, in orders of magnitude milder. So what are some of the benefits? These are the benefits, as I may mention before. TDCS can be able to improve pain intensity, pain episodes, sleep. It can help you be able to perform better. So if you have uh, a job or activity that requires focus, it can be able to improve that. It can improve your mood. It can be able to improve your overall, overall quality of life. So all of those things are potentially 
things that you can be able to improve by doing TDCS. So let's talk about those individual things. So you have this application of the straps that are in place, what the sponges has made mention. And so what are some of the things that can improve? It can be able to improve depression. Traditionally, you can use this in combination with certain therapies, which is why we do it in our clinic, but it can be able to provide value, particularly for those individuals who've gotten either responses to certain treatments and need something in between, or someone who says, you know what, I just wanna try this right from the very get-go. For us and how we do TDCS for our clinic is initially we use this in the office, but we also have a remote offering, meaning so if you're not located in the areas of the Midwest, we can be able to get this shipped to you and be able to be able to provide treatment that can help you that's not based on medication, but based on being able to use your own body to be able to improve your symptoms. TDCS can be used for pain, as was alluded to earlier. And it's not just nerve pain, but it can be able to function in a way that it attacks those areas of the brain that are giving us that sensory information without you having to have an implantable device. So pretty darn useful within that regard. TCS can also be used for addiction. It can be used for various different forms of addiction, whether it's smoking or alcohol or other um, stronger substances that are illicit and uh, dependency. So it can be able to help in that regard. Ironically enough, is it can do other things besides this. It can be able to help for those individuals that are having some cognitive decline, who aren't quite as sharp, who don't remember things as much as what they used to. It can be able to help that and peak performance by making patients not only more aware, but able to have recall. In addition, it can be used for motor disorders, so areas where you have issues being able to move your hand and things of that nature and body parts subsequent to issues like stroke. Um, and when we talk about being able to look at TDCS as a whole, it has been able to affect um, other deeper areas, so things like dysphagia, where you can see these challenges that result from being able to swallow post-stroke. So we know that it has not only benefits for mental health, but for pain and potentially movement disorders that can be able to improve overall symptoms. So if you haven't heard of TDCS and you're interested in potentially being able to try it, I would say take a look at our clinic. I think it's one of the things that we can be able to provide value to you. And in addition, if you're not close to us, we may be able to do this remotely for you. For those individuals who are interested in other sites, there are other places that do TDCS, traditionally in combination with other therapies. So hopefully this provided you an option and value in being able to figure out how to be able to punch pain in the face, whether it's physical or mental, and get back to leading your life that you deserve. If you found this video interesting, please give us a like. If you'd like to see other topics like this, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love for you to be able to follow us further and be able to get further insight on how to be able to take your life back. Thank you so much and have a great day.